What's up guys, Sans Heaven here, episode 2 of the free to play series. This is the account, what it looks like after 5 days, and I'll go into a little explanation of that defense, but first, here's a link, this is Kojo Plays, and that account is being given away, check it out in that video. Alright, what, what have I been doing, what should you be doing? Well, gems, all the free gems you can get, so that means daily rewards, paying attention to your achievements, taking care of as many as you can, and... Use the heroes you have to take advantage of certain achievements that you might be able to take care of, like Mortep and Breaking Walls, which I'll get into in a bit. Now, this is the account. I'm going to show you what I've leveled, tell you why. Well, first off, the gold mines. Yes, I like to level them up just a bit, so when I wake up in the morning, a little extra gold. It's just not wasting away. Relic hold to level 6 because that gets me restoration to level 5. Then I'm going to need to level 8 because I do want that GA. Guardian Angel, you're gonna have to have it eventually, so Relic Hall will need to get to 8 at some point. Gold Mines, keeping those up with the cost of Town Hall leveling. So, waiting on that Vault, and then Town Hall is gonna be on its way to 11. That's really one of the things that you do have to pay attention to because it is expensive, so you gotta keep the Gold Vaults. You can see I'm a little short and waiting on an upgrade. Now, Towers, those are upgrading as well. That's kind of what I'm doing is towers and then bouncing back and forth between the gold vaults for the town hall and leveling that up at this point. When it comes to mana vaults, mana mines, really don't touch them. The only time I'm going to touch those mana vaults is so I can level that gold vault. And you can see, well, I'm good to level nine, so I'm good for a little while on it. And when it comes to troops, I'm going, I'm going down path number two. You can go down path two or three you know, either one is fine. In the end game, though, I will say dragons are better. I'm not leveling my troop camps up just yet because I'm not using troops. Now, I've got a couple guilds for you, and I'm going to be promoting the first iOS guild ever, and I've got an HBM on this account and a couple raids showing you the power of Immortep, but I'll show you where the heroes are at right now. You've got the Executioner and then, well, Werewolf, Assassin. Just use them in the beginning to kind of get kicked off. And really don't use him anymore, but Amortep, there he is. He is at two of nine. And shard-wise, I just started farming A today. And really haven't had any time to set up any defense whatsoever until today. Now, here is the iOS guild, Kings of the Arena. Now, I spoke with Molly from KOA3. And KOA3 is one of the guilds, uh, one of the feeder guilds for it. And spent some time in their guild chat. Really cool people. That's the boss times. If it lines up for you, I got more info in the description and you can maybe join that guild. All right, well, I got an Android guild for you. It's part of the White Knights Empire. This is the White Knights AU run by Ezzy. Ezzy is one of my good friends and I gotta say, um, I'm glad that she is running a guild because she is. She always seemed like the person that would be a great leader. So contact her today if you wanna join. Now, let's get back into the account. So, first off, the name. It's new. Had to have a name, right? Well, unfortunately, the one I wanted was taken. Found a variation, though. Lucky underscore seven seven. All right. And here's the gem roll. Oh, why? Werewolf. And I'm going to show you every gem roll I do on this account. And I want to show that because I don't just always roll legends, guys. I roll bad rolls, too. So you'll see over time the bad rolls. Now, here's Red Dragon, and he's out soloing the boss. He's a Niggy and Friends member. Uh, Vice, actually, of Niggy and Friends. Needed some HP, but, well, I joined along with him, and now I jump into the boss fight. I can swing a few times, and I can grab, you know, anywhere from three, four, five thousand in honor badges a day. That is awesome. So if you are starting... Try to find someone that is soloing the boss. It is the absolute most efficient way to level. Even if you're not starting out, if you know someone that is soloing, see if you can just tag along. All right, well, here's a Mortep, and when he procs, he absolutely destroys walls. It just, everything around him goes down. Now, if I was able to choose and pick any hero to start the game with, I would choose a Mortep. Now, this is excluding, of course, Spirit Mage and the Minotaur, but... When it comes down to any hero that you can start off rolling, it's him. I would pick him over Pumpkin Duke simply because he'll start off things faster. Now, Pumpkin Duke, you really do want him, but this this one um, was kind of a funny raid to me because I mentioned the wall breaking, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, but if you have a Mortep at low levels, it really is not. Now, you can see right here, that's four gold mines. 
Four gold mines means a town hall of at least level 9. That's 90 walls. And he's going to come through here and you can see the heroes. They don't even get to him. He's proccing. He's killing everything. Every single wall is going down. And here we go. We got the last little bit. And it's done. It's gone. Every wall in the entire base is gone. How cool is that? That's my boy Amortap. Yeah, he is. And, well, that's what led to this right here just jumping up. And, well, that was in about... I don't know, 30, 45 minutes an hour? I don't know. It was, it did not take long. You see the next one's going to be up at 3,000, which I'm going to go after and hope maybe even try to get tomorrow when I start playing. Now, let's go ahead and go in here because that did get me to the next hero rolling. Werewolves! All I'm rolling are werewolves! See, guys? I'm not all, always rolling legends. And for now, I'm going to focus on just leveling a Mortep. That's why the defense is set up how it is. It is a modified diamond. I'm not going after a higher might title right now because I want to keep the rating pool where it is and I'm going to let the might progress naturally as my legendaries level up and as the buildings level up. I'm not going to do anything to boost might. All right, well, here's what I'm doing with Here We Monsters. I'm farming A and I hopefully will be at B soon enough, but probably going to take another star level for my Amortep. Now, why is the base a little shifted a little to the right? Well, that's because I want most of the spawns to come on the left side where I have three buildings. I have the two towers and the gold vault. Now, why don't I have, you know, three buildings on the right side? Well, that's because I don't have enough walls to protect them. Because the way it works is you can see how my walls are tiered. They're three thick at the left corner. You look all the way in the left corner and you go down. It's three thick, two thick, then one thick. Now, if you take that three thick section, and you take away some of those walls. Well, you know what's going to happen is their heroes, the enemy heroes, are going to start breaking through my walls. And that's the worst thing you want. You do not want them breaking through your walls. Also, I want you to notice the space between the tower and between where Mortep is standing right now. Do you see that open space? By giving that extra little space right there, what it does is it makes the range heroes have to walk all the way around. And they get into the range of your hero. So your hero can take them out. Without them sitting outside your walls, destroying your buildings, or acting as the tanks for you. Now, building placement. Why are the buildings that are outside of the walls, why are they where they are? Well, it's for the simple reason that I want to funnel the heroes the direction I want. So when I get a spawn right there, on the top, or on the bottom, they're going to come in. They're going to go right at that wall right there. They're going to have to walk all the way around. They're going to be going all the way down to that tower. And they're not going to be attacking my, my Amortep until that tower is dead, which means I'll, I'm going to get the proc. And when Amortep procs, you see that in A, everything dies. I have a feeling that once I can get him up to 3 of 9 and level 60, that star level, I should be able to do B with him soloing, especially if there's a Paladin or another legend along the way. Now, when you do have a defense and you get get it set up and get it lined up, you know it's perfect when they spawn and they're going on the corner and it splits them. It's absolutely perfect when it splits them and they're not hitting walls. It's that for me because I, I tested a number of times when where it was three thick, I had it, you know, just one wall less. They started breaking the walls. So I had to readjustment. Now Getting the right defense, it takes time, it takes practice, it takes failing, fixing, until you get it right, and this is pretty much just maximizing what I could do with the setup. Now, the extra hero bases out there will act as tanks. They will act as buildings will, except they're a spot 2x2 two two instead of 3x3. Three three. Now, the dino, what do you got, dino? Uh-uh, son. And why, Amortep, he just chains his procs together all over, taking care of well, it's A, I know. Getting a little too excited for A. All right, guys, that's episode two. Sans having out.